Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick video to help you with your frame rate in MSFS 2024. Because let's face it, in VR it's a bit of a pig. So there's a couple of things that I'm going to mention in this video and this is going to be included in my full VR settings guide but I think I had to get this out as quick as I possibly can. And this is kind of aimed at all VR headset uh, users, whether you use a Quest 3 or a Reva G2 or a Pimax Crystal Light, and that is DLSS. It's something that I'm not a massive fan of, as you probably know, but unfortunately in this sim it's kind of a must really. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. First of all, I'd recommend running DLSS set to quality and make sure you're running the latest DLSS file. And for that, you need to download the DLSS swapper. See here on the screen, basically what that does is it changes your DLSS file within the sim and many other games as well. Once you load it up, it's a very nice little interface and just download, in this case, the latest version is the one you're seeing on the screen now. And then go to MSFS 2024 and then you can see there you can swap to the latest file. It's as easy as that. Now the reason why you've got to do that is because it does make a difference to the clarity. And that's coming from someone who is not a DLSS fan. Um, but I must admit, looking at these gauges here, especially this G3000, it is softer than TAA, but I must admit it's actually okay. I don't mind this. So you could also use some FSR sharpening. I run 180% in the menu, but you could also use the OpenXR toolkit as well. So have a play around with that. Now I know some of you out there prefer DLAA, and yes, it's definitely sharper, but it's certainly in my test is pretty much the same performance as TAA mode. So yeah, I recommend, highly recommend the DLSS swapper file. I know I haven't really mentioned it on the channel before, but I think now is the best time since MSFS 2024, in VR at least, you do need to run DLSS. There are other ways of doing it as well, and I'll mention this in my full VR settings guide, so make sure you tune in for that. Currently, I'm testing three different PC systems in order to give you my best possible VR settings. Anyway, that'll do for now. If you're wondering why my microphone sounds a bit weird, I'm actually using the inbuilt microphone of the Pimax Crystal Lite. It has got better, but it's not amazing, but at least hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Right, that will do for this video. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.